Bandcamp. Gandhi. This is the top three things about radiology that I don't like. It's been about four years since Chief Keef released his hit single, I Don't Like. I have to say, I love this song. Not a week goes by where I don't view this video on YouTube in order to get a piece of the energy of that song. I've already talked about the things that I like about radiology. Now, I'm going to talk about the top three things that I don't like. But since I hate complaining, I'm also going to talk about how to circumvent these issues, how to get around them. So number three thing about radiology that I don't like, reading a seemingly endless list of studies. It seems like we can never catch up with a list. As soon as I put a study down, there are two or three more ready to go. And worse still is that we are reading more and more studies for even less and less money per study. You can start to imagine radiology as a sweatshop where you endlessly grind and grind against a mill that will never stop churning. How do you get around this? I think first we have to recognize how fortunate we are to have so much work to go around. Not having enough work to do is a problem that some people have. We don't have this problem. I think going forward we have to show our value so that government and other payers can't simply cut our rates year after year in order to balance their books. They have to realize that it takes a lot of mental effort and energy to interpret images and produce quality reports. And I think that's going to mean that we're going to have to start talking directly to patients about what radiology is and why we're important. This leads me into number two. Number two thing about radiology I don't like, the lack of visibility of radiologists. Here's an amazing case. This is a middle-aged patient who showed up to the ER for abdominal pain. A resident with four years of training missed this finding, but an attending with 15 years of experience picked up this finding. This is an amazing, extremely subtle finding. The finding is wall thickening of the sigmoid colon, which could mean a couple of things. It could mean inflammation like colitis, or it could mean an early colon cancer. The attending made this excellent finding and suggested a diagnosis of colon cancer and because of this the patient got treated for an early colon cancer, got it resected and then presented to me for a chemoport placement. I asked the patient, can you believe this amazing doctor found this colon cancer on your CT? And he said, yes, I'm so glad that Dr. So-and-so found it. The doctor that he was mentioning was a surgeon who removed his colon cancer. The point of this long-winded story is that patients unfortunately have no idea who we are or what we do as radiologists. We're usually tucked away in the basement of a hospital, in a reading room, sitting in the dark producing our reports. Not a lot of visibility to the patients that we serve. How can we circumvent this? Well, I'll tell you personally what I've done is become an interventional radiologist so that I can show my value directly to the patients I'm serving. I consult directly with the patients and I perform procedures directly on the patients. How can the specialty get better at dealing with patients? I remember back in medical school I was invited to dinner with a bunch of plastic surgeons. One of the attendings said that back in the old days, the head of their group used to poke his head into a patient's room and the first thing out of his mouth was, Mrs. Smith, did you know we just saved your life? It was hilarious but now I see why he did that. Sometimes that's exactly what needs to be said. Someone has to take credit for medicine's accomplishments. I think all radiologists have to step up and say, Hey Mr. Smith, I diagnosed your cancer. I helped to save your life. Thank you for the opportunity to be involved in your care. I think it would go a long way. The number one thing about radiology that I don't like. Not getting adequate clinical history on a request form. You already knew I was going there. It really amazes me that if a doctor consults a cardiologist, a nephrologist, a neurosurgeon, they're going to call them up and they're going to have a whole spiel set up 
about what they're looking for and what questions they need answered. But when they request a radiological study, the provided history can be as terse and unhelpful as pain. Kind of ridiculous, but here's what's happened over the years. I've learned to work around this problem. I use all the resources I have in my possession. I use the electronic chart to sift through the records. I find the notes. I try to get in the clinician's head, try to figure out what is the information that they're looking for. I also use PACS to help me. I look at the old reports. Why are we imaging this patient? What can I already find out from reading the prior report? How quickly can I come up to speed on this patient? The other thing is experience. After I've read about a thousand CT of the abdomen and pelvis, I know the top three diagnoses I need to make on that study. I also know the top three things I'm likely to miss and how to find those. So I can piece together my report and I don't have to rely on the clinical history to direct me. That being said, I would really enjoy seeing a synthesized history placed by a clinician. All I'm asking for is a short piece of prose that tells me what I need to know about the patient. Don't think that's asking for too much. Ultimately, we have to blame ourselves for this problem. We put up with it. If every chairman of every radiology department put a hard stop to performing studies without proper histories, the problem will be solved yesterday. Of course, no chairman has the guts to do this because it would decrease the throughput in our department and therefore decrease our cash flow. So there you go. Those are the top three things about radiology that I don't like. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please click like below if you like it or subscribe for additional content. If you get a chance, check out the video for I Don't Like by Chief Keith. Once again, I'm Sorel Garmdee. Take care.